Hey you guys, welcome back to another installment of Virgo's Love Drama. How are you all doing? <clears throat> this is a channel for Virgos and Virgos only. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if you are new here, please do hit the like button on the video. Please do subscribe if you enjoy the video and tick that notification bell. Also, if you want to get a personal reading, there is a link below this video. Just click that link and that will take you to my booking site. All right, please be mindful. These are general <laughs> readings, so they may not resonate. My readings can be a little candid and otherworldly, so take it with a grain of salt if you must. Okay, let's see here. What are the love messages? Hello, everyone. Hope you are doing well. Hi, everybody in the chat. All right, let's take a look here. Love messages for Virgos. Virgo's sun, oh, moon rising, Venus. Wow, three popped out right away. Ooh, Virgo, you're showing up here in your reading, male or female. You're making a decision, some of you, whether or not to reach out to someone or whether to respond to a text message, text message. A love message, call, phone call, or something along those lines. I feel like some of you are looking at your phones or you're looking at your, your tablets or your computer. You see a message and you're weighing your options. Should I or shouldn't I? Should I or shouldn't I? That's a very strong message. That's very strong. Some of you may be receiving uh, some communication from someone. So you know, when it's a page, it always feels to me like the written word, like on a page, like a text of some sort. Um, so yeah, it does feel like you are going to get some communication from somebody and you may be trying to decide whether or not you should respond or not. And for others, you're just in this place. Should, it, should you reach out or not? So let's take a look, see what other messages there are here for your reading. It's interesting because I feel like they just threw those out right away. All right. Okay. So, Ten of Wands, Knight of Wands, Four of Swords, Six of Wands. Okay. <laughs> Truth is coming out. Somebody's having a wake-up call. What? And the Lovers. Oh, my goodness. Judgment and the Lovers, Queen of Wands, okay, some of you might be on the cusp of uh, Leo and Virgo, Ten of Pentacles, and the World, okay, bottom of the deck, Three of Swords, hmm, gosh, this really does feel like Somebody here is trying to make a decision about whether or not to come clean about something or to reach out to bring balance and harmony back into a situation. Somebody might have been involved with another person and sad as it they may feel, they're leaving that person. Okay, that could be you or it could be somebody else, but there's definitely, listen, guys, I have to give the message. Some of you are reconciling or you have someone here who is coming back to talk to you who might be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Okay, all right, let's get into your reading. Let's see what your love messages are here. I will tell you the theme the overwhelming point of this reading here with judgment being in the center of the reading is that there is some kind of an eye-opening uh, clarity or a final decision being being made. Somebody's having a wake-up call. Let's see. Love messages. Ugh. Wedding. Situation involves marriage. Calling in your soulmate, you're so totally getting a phone call or a communication from somebody very passionate about you. Okay, for some, this could be a reconciliation. 
And for others, it just might be somebody who's been thinking about you or you are on their mind. I don't know if you, like whom here might already be engaging with someone or perhaps not. You know, it's so weird. I don't usually pull these cards until halfway through, but I just got pulled. I just got called to pull some of these, pull a few messages here first. So let's see, what do they want to say? Spirit's got something to say here, you guys. They just said, pick up the Moon Pie Tarot deck and see what's going on. And this is my deck. If you click the link in the description box below the video, you'll see you should be able to access it to purchase. I'm not sure if I have that listed. Okay, transition. The end to suffering is upon you. Out with the old, in with the new. For some of you, this is someone new. No one said this would be easy or has been. The season in your life is transforming and bringing you into a new hemisphere. Allow it to happen. Go with the, go with the flow. It's now time for change. All right, there's definitely a transition happening here. I know we're out of Mercury retrograde and all the other retrogrades are where everybody's gone direct now. So there's change happening here. Let's take a look and see what else. Okay, financial decision. Hmm. That could very well be connected to yesterday's reading, but I'm not really feeling that all that strongly. Okay, hey, speed and travel. So there's definitely news coming in here for you. Cupid's arrows. Somebody's coming in to see you really quickly. They might be traveling towards you. A big transition here, and it might have to do with like having the financial ability to do it. Okay. I'll pull more of those a little bit later. So let's see. Okay, you've got somebody here who's coming to the end of some kind of struggle, freeing themselves up. Um, somebody may have been working, or somebody you were connected to was working very hard at something. Um, you know, they're just completely exhausted or had a lot of burdens that they were carrying and that may have placed your relationship on hold or put the connection on hold for a while let's take a look here oh, yeah i was looking at the wedding card when i when i pulled this yeah it's now time for a union okay real quick i did say fire signs the other energies that are here okay so the other energies that are here are gemini and scorpio also libra and then also uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Sagittarius. Yeah, I said fire sign. So if that resonates for you, that's your message. If not, don't worry about it. Um, I feel like somebody's coming in pretty fast, lusty, very passionate about you. Okay, for some of you, it's definitely Libra. But I feel like <clears throat> if you're... You know, somebody's viewing you as like they're everything. Like they're everything. This is definitely a new start. They want to come in and give birth to this connection, your relationship. Um, for some, this person's coming in to get you pregnant if you're female. <laughs> right? Because we do have somebody laying here in bed. I feel like there's some, this person has been praying for this day to come in. I don't see that. Try not to get it mixed up, okay? And what I mean by that is like the emperor is in the upright. So I don't feel like this is someone who's, you know, narcissistic, okay? Maybe your person's highly selfish, and this may not be related to yesterday. I do feel like your person, though, had a conversation with their father or a mentor or someone who was older gave him good advice in regard to your relationship this person might have been afraid of being married or had like was anti-marriage or anti-commitment in that way i feel like this person is coming in to propose to you all right all right because that knight of cups there with the knight of wands oh my gosh 
This is like a prince or princess charming coming in here to this person really admires you. Um, I feel like they've had it on their mind for quite some time um, about getting out of their comfort zone and move and you know traveling or move moving towards you. It's been on their mind. This is like a necessary transition. They know they have to do this. They know they have to come clean. They know they have to come towards you and finalize things here with you and move something to the next stage. But I feel, you know, male or female, this person looks at you and like the Empress is the queen of queens. Do you know what I mean? Like, in other words, the Empress represents all of the elements everything about you like their feelings um all of their feels towards you are there all the physical attraction towards you is there your the way you think the way you the way you operate your intellect some of you have very good like you're very intellectual you're very creative like you're the end all be all you know male or female to this person um, I feel like somebody here, there's a communication or a message coming in that this person wants to see you and some of you are like, you don't know. You have all beautiful cards. You don't know if you want to respond to this. And some of you are like, do want to respond, but you don't know what to say. You're kind of like, okay, maybe I should say this. Maybe I should say that, <laughs> right? It, it might like it doesn't feel like it's a surprise yet it could show up that it's a surprise that they're coming in with this energy but i mean the lovers is here this is definitely um deep partnership this person's coming in with confidence the six of wands energy i mean this person they're coming in with good news this good news they've it feels like they've made a decision Okay, this is a soulmate connection. This person feels like you are their soulmate. You are their person. Okay, this doesn't have to be a past person. This just could be somebody that you're communicating or you will be communicating with going forward. Okay, now they're giving me dates again. All right, tell like if these dates resonate for you in some way. Okay, I'm hearing October 4th, April 10th. Um, June 20th, June 6th. Um, I'm also hearing October 21st. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to leave that there. Okay, so this person is coming in with this good news. They've, they've awakened... They're having a wake-up call about the lover's card here, okay? This person, um, if this is a past person that you were connecting with, there might have been a breakup or divorce, some kind of argument, regrets, uh, bad choices, but it feels like everything is becoming right here, okay? Because this is about making a choice. And I feel like this person has made a decision and they're going to be calling you to tell you that they're choosing to go forward with you. Doesn't it sound so lovely? Okay. <laughs> and of course, the Seven of Swords is here. So, sitting on the Six of Wands, this feels to me... It just gives me this sense of like, no more running away. If this person ran away from you or ghosted you, no more running away, okay? If this is somebody that you've just been, you're not really, like you've, you have been talking to, um, and there was like a ghosting situation or something, they're, they're returning to give you some good news. Some of, uh, okay, this person may have been away doing some stuff here behind the scenes 
and not really communicating with you about what was going on. It doesn't necessarily feel like it was deception, but it does feel like they were withholding um, something from you here. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. For some, this person went and got some um, help for an addiction. They snuck away. <laughs> they might have been hiding something. You know, I feel like they're going to come in and tell you. They were trapped in something, um, maybe with an ex, like a very toxic situ uh, situation that they had to deal with, or a family situation that they had to deal with. Let's see what this judgment is here. Okay. Yep. Coming out of hiding with the moon. The moon. That's Piscean energy. There's Capricorn here too. Okay. There, there was, there, they weren't fully giving you everything. There was a lot of stuff that's being hidden, but everything is coming out into the open now here with the moon card and judgment. This is like release. This is revelation. Whatever they were hiding or whatever secrets or things that they were not telling you, it, it's like they have to tell you now. You know, the major arcanas, I mean, these are like the cards that like you don't have much say over these. <laughs> this is like feeling propelled to give you the truth perhaps they were for some of you this person might have been in another relationship or they were married you didn't know i feel like that's coming out and if you knew about it um that that can that thing with that other person is done it's over okay because like we said this situation could involve marriage it doesn't have to be a marriage with you it could be that they were for some, they were still married, but not with their person, or that person that whoever they were with wanted to get married, and this and your person just was like, "No, you're not my soulmate." They're calling you. You are their soulmate. I mean, the lovers here is I'm picking up like vulnerability, opening up, telling you everything you need to to be told here. The death card here. Yep. They definitely ended a relationship that they were in prior, okay? And there is an energy of like, that's over. Um, or they were married and they're a widow or they lost someone. Someone passed away, okay? Okay, this is endings and new beginnings here. No, no longer suffering. And this person um, is also putting an end to fear-based thinking when it comes to having a lifetime partner, which is you. So they probably were someone who had cold feet, or they just weren't. A sh they just weren't sure. I don't feel like this person was never. I don't feel like they were unsure of you. I feel like it was the act of becoming one that scared them. Okay. Um, perhaps they had a relationship in the past that was very toxic. This person may have been guarded about uh, having a fear that that might happen again. Even if you gave up very good positive vibes, they just had some kind of a fear about that. They definitely had someone kind of guiding them or mentoring them or giving them good advice. So Virgo, you're definitely getting a phone call or a text message about this. And it could be, some of you may have already received it. Uh, some of those dates I gave could have been your person's birthday. It, listen, giving those dates is just basically spirit wants those people who resonate with those dates to know that this is specifically for them but it does not negate the reading and mean that this reading is not for you okay so please be mindful of that um i just also heard june 20th as well did i say that i don't know if i said june 20th i think i did They just kept, they just gave it to me again, June 20th. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. Okay, so this came out in reverse, which is the Eight of Wands in reverse. So freeing themselves up from insecurity, restrictions, or a sense of feeling mentally stuck or trapped. Okay, getting that brave, get, becoming brave. I, they just said boldness and becoming brave. Um, Somebody becoming free, this person becoming free now, uh, releasing. There's like hope coming back here. <clears throat> Listen, you guys, I don't blow smoke. My readings are real. They're candid. They're to the, po to the point. And I'm telling you, this person is like crazy passionate about you. So we've got the Ten of Pentacles here and strength wow hmm fortitude a marriage or a relationship something sturdy and strong leaving a legacy leo energy strong and safe they're telling me virgo it feels like This death card, out with the old, in with the new. That's what I was saying here. This feels like your person. Uh, for some of you, their reasoning or their excuse or their justification for not moving something forward with you had a lot to do with money or finances. Um, it feels like this person, okay, they're telling me for some, this person didn't think that they could provide for you, so they weren't able to follow through, okay? And for others, this person was fearful that you couldn't provide for them. But it feels like the love is trumping all of that. Let me see here. Yeah, look, major investment in a new start. Me, this person is like a you are a golden opportunity. They're taking the opportunity here. Okay, whether this is you know a reconciliation situation or someone new coming in, um, this is victory. So I just it just feels to me like what was once before whether it's with this person or you know with you and them um, in the past or somebody new coming in who's completed or ended something that they were bound to for a long time they're free from that now here and making this offer you know if you haven't met this person you can bet that they are coming in they are definitely coming in for you. Um, God, it feels like the reading was so um, straightforward. I mean, I don't usually blow through them in 23 minutes, but this feels very like straight to the point with this with this situation here. Mostly, I feel like you're getting this call, this phone call. That it's just I'm hearing this person saying. I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's move forward. Let's make something happen here. Let's make a life together. Like I said, it, it doesn't feel like a surprise. Some of you may have been waiting for this person to come in. Like maybe there was a conversation for some of you where your person might have told you, I can't right now, it's not the right time. Something to do maybe with children or finances or their fears. Everything is coming into harmony here. There might have been an argument. There might have been separation for some of you, which is why I feel like this person is coming in here with this offer. Okay. 
Oh, Spirit just said to me, give a message to those who were dealing with a very narcissistic individual. Okay. I feel like I'm supposed to be touching on that. Something about that. A very narcissistic individual. They need they they're saying they want to tell you something about the narc, the ex narc, or if you're currently connecting with someone. I don't feel like that's this person here. Let me see. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So, <laughs> so some of you, you might have had uh, an ex narcissist who is a cancer. Um, I feel like they're trying to give you like a message here to be careful. Okay, they just said July 1st or July 7th, and then also January 7th. Okay, but apart from that, they're saying to be care be forewarned that if you've broken away from that narcissistic individual, this person is coming in right now. They're in this energy of like, what's the best way to get Virgo back? And then, and I feel like that might have something to do with yesterday's reading because here they are coming in with this gigantic pentacle. It feels like try to buy you back or buy you a vehicle, <laughs> buy you a car. Hell, maybe some of you, they might be buying you a bus or a, a 18 wheeler. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Wait, let me see. Oh yeah. Ace of Cups. That is what the surprise is gonna be. I know some of you are like, no, I expect it. But others, you might you may be thinking that that relationship with that ex, that narcissist, you might be thinking that's over and that person's never coming back, or they've got somebody else. Well, you're dead wrong. They're gonna come in and surprise you. Okay, the first reading, this is definitely somebody healthy, uh, somebody possibly new, okay, but somebody healthy, but the ex narc is going to be initiating. Uh, maybe they find out that you are going to be going forward with someone or things are going to start resuming again that you might have been, they might have been trying to get you back. I feel like they're going to throw that big fat love bombs your way oh so i just they just said and it doesn't have to be you know cancer but they're they're just telling this person is plotting and scheming look thinking 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 stinking thinking so i feel like you got to be very careful i know some of you are like nah it's not a problem i'm just gonna keep it moving okay um, I feel like I'm picking up that if you were separated from in a relationship with someone that maybe was good, I feel like that's why you're hesitant to respond back because you're not fully sure. A lot of you are just kind of like analyzing the text or trying to scheme um, particular, just the right words um, or the right message to respond with you're kind of like sitting on it a little bit or you will be when the, this person reaches out and tells you they're ready to move forward <laughs> i don't know they're telling me to pull some more cards here okay king of cups is back so for some of you it may be a cancer scorpio or a pisces hmm. and there's your card virgo yeah this person um deep in deep thought like i said you're both very hesitant to communicate with each other. I don't know if something went down or there was some kind of breakup or an argument or something happened, um, but this person's been really assessing very deeply the, your relationship, okay? They, they may have been in hermit mode. They've gone in for clarity for sure. Let's see, okay, yeah. 
I feel like they've been watching you. They're just kind of like standing on the sidelines there watching, uh, trying to figure out, maneuver the play to come in and, you know, say something to you. They're hesitant to reach out to you. You're hesitant to respond. You're hesitant to reach out to them. They're hesitant to respond. There's a lot of fear of getting of something not going forward. There's a lot of fear of getting stuck in a cycle. Okay, yeah, that's what I was just saying. The moon, fear, Piscean energies. A lot of fear around that. And this is really like facing the fears with the Six of Swords here. And making this change. Oh my gosh. All right, let's get a couple more of these cards here to see what's going on. What else does Virgo need to know? So this is not your narc, okay? Your narc is over here, and your narc is not going to leave you alone. They're going to keep trying, initiating something new. They're going to tempt you with money, material things. They're going to bring the love bomb. They're really plotting and scheming how to like entice you back under their control yikes let's see what else does virgo need to know yep see you're getting a love offer here i told you that's definitely what's coming in that's what that communication is going to be that page of cups that's how that's how they're coming at you they're this 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 not this bad not this bad situation this new person um, or person from your past um, is going to come in and try to um, express how they feel. Yeah, look, endure and be patient, Virgo. And I feel like you're going to be doing that because I feel like a lot of you are going to be like sitting on it. You already know you don't want that past energy back, like that real bad toxic thing. Some of you might have had a toxic ex relationship from like 20 years ago. 10 years ago, five years ago, whichever, you're already like, nope, I already know I'm done with that asshole. But you may have been in another relationship with someone and things just kind of didn't work out or they got stalled or delayed. And I feel like, especially since these retrogrades are over, things are going to start moving forward. This person wants to marry you, Virgo. Or just be in some kind of a, a union with you that's like none other and nobody else. So I feel like you just got to like your message here is to just be patient. I feel like a lot of you are because you're I'm feeling hesitant. You're just you get this. So I just see you guys like you get this text message from somebody and you get it like you and it comes out of the blue and you get it and you're just looking at it like with your jaw drop like. What do I say? How do I respond to this? What do I do? And I feel like you're just going to be very patient. Just try to figure out what to do. Okay, I was just it's so weird how these cards come out. My own cards. <laughs> My own cards here. I was before I pulled this, I saw you talking to your friends or telling your friend, "Look, so and so reached out." Um consult with your friends about this okay about i feel like you're you're going to consult with your friends or say, or ask them like what should you say what should you do not just friends but people who are close to you um who have your back and who want the best for you okay material wish is being granted all right some of you a material item is coming towards you. I don't know if this is connected to this person, um, but material things. <laughs> some boys love me, some boys don't. I just saw Material Girl. I just saw Madonna dancing in her pink chiffon dress there with her diamonds. <laughs> uh, it could be a ring. Could be an engagement ring for some of you 
you're getting an engagement ring. That's it. That's what they just showed me. Her glove with her ring on it. And you guys, listen. <laughs> I mean, maybe you're going to buy one. <laughs> I don't know. Some of you guys might be getting, you know, going to pick out engagement rings or wedding. Wait, do guys wear engagement rings? I don't think so wedding rings or, or or engagement bands or something like sealing it you know i mean sealing it it might be like uh tattoo rings for some which that's forever okay reflect go into your cave for a while virgo you need to regroup and recollect after you get this message from this person it's going to surprise you because i feel like you you still have a heart for this person um there's a lot going on here, and you're going to need some alone time. Stay in the stillness and the quiet, but don't get lost. You may need to tell this person when they reach out that you're just kind of like, you're going to pull out for a bit, or you're going to think about something, or you just may not tell them and just take a while to respond because you're not sure how to handle something for some reason or what to say or do. Okay, so you may need to take a little time to recharge. Okay, good news about money. Okay, that's good. Some of you, it might not even be related. Some of you are just seriously going to be getting some good news. Money's coming in. I don't know who needs to hear that, but definitely that energy is playing out. Positive vibes. Oh, this is the sun. The energies around you are strong and powerful. Stay very positive, Virgo. I feel like whoever's coming in here with this love offer, their intentions are good. I feel like they really mean well. And, and they really mean well. I feel like they were just stupid, maybe, or they were just dumb, or they were listening to other people. Or they weren't listening to themselves. I feel like they really go in and ask themselves what they want, what they're ready for, what it's time for in their life. Okay, the struggle is over, Virgo. You can't make this up. Your struggle is over. Like I said, this may not be somebody that you've been communicating with. This could be somebody new who has just, you met somebody and they wanted to date or you will meet someone and they want to date or they tell you that they've just been dating because they didn't know how they feel about marriage or commitment because of other things that happened. But something sparks and I feel like this, maybe you have a conversation with them or you, you tell them something about what you went through or you tell them something about like your views or how you feel about long-term commitments or relationships some of you just say you might tell this person let's commit to the relationship let's commit to making it the best we can and then you're in a committed relationship right but i feel like whatever the struggle is here there's um a lot of change it's over here Okay, time to go. It's go time, Virgo. It's time. Get your GPS set, take off. You know what you want, you know where you're going, and you know exactly how to get there. Now head in that direction. Don't waste time. Don't waste any more time, Virgo. No more hesitation. Blockages are being removed. Don't let your fears stop you from moving forward because I feel like this person is not letting their fear uh, stop them from moving forward with you and if it did before it feels to me like um, that caused fear in you for some of you and some of you just said no I'm out of here and there's somebody new coming in here um, and this is the new person okay um, a lot of you just it was you were in a toxic you were in a shit you were in a shit ass relationship with someone from your past and that person's not giving up they're going to keep trying and the more you pull away and if you're involved with somebody else you start getting involved with someone else the up the more they're going to up the ante to try to bring you back in you just got to be very careful with that that real toxic toxic bad thing that you were in in the past okay let's see 
What are the love messages here? Okay, intuition. You already know the answer you seek, Virgo. Okay, follow your intuition, your gut instincts. Abundance, you've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. Awesome. Okay, someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. A lot of regret here. They're ready. Somebody's ready. They're obsessed with you. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. Virgo, <laughs> this is not your, this person would be going to be obsessed forever, but you're not in a connection with them, this toxic person. Um, this person who you may be meeting or you, you've just been chit-chatting with, they just have this like, <sighs> it feels to me like part of their struggle was they had this tape on loop. Marriage is bad. Marriage is bad. Relationship long term won't work out. They've had this obsessive loop playing in their head that they just could not stop. And I feel like with that Ten of Wands energy, like it caused a heavy burden so much that they just broke down or they're breaking down and they're coming in here with this love offer. And I don't know, like, I don't feel like it's anything really that you did per se i feel like this person because judgment is there just having this wake-up call this clarity and i feel like it had more to do with like either a father figure or someone else having like a, a sturdy truthful talk telling them about like how they were in their childhood um or like really giving them some juice and tea you know about the whole idea of they might have been commitment phobe or commitment ad adverse okay support lean on your inner circle during this time see that's about um your good friends I feel like, I do feel like this is going to come in as like a surprise for you. Like it's news coming in. I feel like you'd just be looking at your phone like, what the, what the? <laughs> okay, new love. A new love or recommitment to love is developing here. Okay, so that's a message for the singles and for those of you who were in separation with somebody definitely this is what's happening um okay let's get some moonology cards hey you guys how's it going um you know what Somebody here has like a goatee or a mustache, beard, goatee kind of thing going on. Um, and there may be somebody who either is having or recently had some kind of heart surgery or procedure or some type of surgery. That could, that, that, if it was your person that may have brought like a life changing wake up call to them because of some kind of like surgery of, or a procedure or something. I don't feel like it was a near, it could have been a near death experience, but I don't really feel like it was that drastic. It might just have been something where it's like, oh my gosh, that is a possibility. And they're out there alone and there's nobody to be with, like to, I kind of feel like recover with, like it just feels like they're recognizing like, okay, I have this procedure or the surgery or something happens and I'm all by myself. I've got no one to love me. I've got no one to take care of me. You know, I feel like for a lot of you, that's what this is here. Like they wake up to that. Okay. Somebody might be like works in the lab or is like a, um, like a mixologist. <laughs> I guess a lab tech would be a mixologist too, <laughs> mixing up the chemicals or the drinks or something. All right, let's get your moonology card here. Let's 
see. Okay, a win-win outcome. I'm telling you, this is justice. This is in your favor. You're winning. <laughs> it's a win for you and this person. If you have moon in Libra, this is specifically for you, um, but for everyone, this is a win-win situation that's coming in here. Um, I'm gonna give you the time frame. Um, I'm actually gonna give you an exact date of when this is gonna happen. So just stick around and I'm gonna give you a date for when this energy, this proposal is coming in. All right, your commitment is being tested. Yeah, a lot of you may have felt like this was a huge test of your commitment to each other. This person definitely was feeling that or will be feeling that. You know, when your commitment is being tested, it's like, it's like, you know, that's really a difficult, it's, it's, it's not that it's hard work, but it's a lot of work to be put in. It doesn't necessarily have to be hard. It's just a lot of effort to put into a relationship. And it's only for the brave, not everyone. A lot of people who give up on relationships give up because of the effort that's required to put in, okay? And it's not for the faint of heart, you know? To, to It's hard when there's difficult situations. It's hard to stick together and keep supporting one another, you know? Things happen in relationships. It takes a lot of strength to stay committed to each other despite, that's why, you know, it's till death do us part through the good and the bad. That's why it's so difficult, you know, because it's not, I mean, when you love someone, yeah, you love them. And that's why you commit to them and you keep going. And you would hope that people who are committed to each other are committing because the love is the glue that's holding them together. But I know there are times when people in long-term relationships are like, oh, they need a break. They need a rest. It's, it's hard. It can be difficult it's not for the faint of heart and this person it feels like they're coming in here and they've got the strength of a lion the strength of a, of a mighty oak to be sturdy and not quit not give up only winners win-win only winners succeed not the quitters this person's not coming in toward it's not showing me that they're a quitter uh, hold your vision, Virgo. Don't give up on your vision. What is your vision? Your vision is to have that partner, that love, that abundance, that support, that joy, that love. Hold your vision. Don't quit on yourself. Okay, surrender to the divine. It's all in God's hands. It's all in higher power's hands here. Full moon. Don't we have a full moon right now? Well, as I'm recording this, okay? Put your intentions out to the divine. Surrender. I love your reading. It is so spiritual and so beautiful. Let's see, what else do we have here? Let's take a look at your, your advice. You know what, okay. Virgo's advice. Yep. Oh my goodness. Six of cups. Okay. This is reconciliation with someone where there was just a stall in a relationship. This is a good, beautiful, for some of you, this is an apology. Okay. For some of you, this is a return of people or romances from your past. I feel like you're, you've got somebody here who is just romanticizing what may have been in the past. You two, you might have met this or known this person when you were younger. And maybe they went off and married someone and you did. Or there was other relationships in the time that you were apart. 
I feel like this person has never forgotten about you and I feel like you you have never probably never forgotten about them and you need to remember um, I just feel like remember them this person truly loves you they really really do I think they always have they're saying I think this person has always loved you It's not that shit stain over here. I don't know who that person was that you were connecting with, but they laid it on really thick. All right, Spirit just said, we're going to talk about this. Oh, we're getting into this. We're getting into this narcissistic jerk, bad person, okay? We're getting into this. They just said, they just said there's more messages about that person okay ten of pen or ten of swords in the reverse for them all right their intention here okay this narcissist coming in here this evil this this evil demon coming in here um they're suffering they're suffering and in, in their mind this is not over And just hold on, I'm going to tell you when this uh, reconciliation thing is going to happen. Oh, they just gave it to me. Um, November 6th, expect a phone call or a text message from somebody. November the 6th. Okay, look, this person is, n oh my gosh. We have Aquarius energy here. Um, so your, your narc person might have been an Aquarius. Um, so the star in reverse. This person is arrogant as F, extremely impatient, and they don't like being ignored. They don't like you ignoring them at all. This person craves attention. You're ignoring them, Virgo. You don't want anything to do with them. And that's why they're coming in with this love bombing and these gifts. And they've been calculating and scheming like a demon. It's funny how these are all showing up in reverse here. Yeah, this person, it feels like um, they got caught doing something in the past. And you said, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. They were causing a lot of drama and they got caught doing that. And they were intentionally causing drama. It wasn't a, like, it wasn't, it wasn't something like the things that they did, maybe gossiping, the things that they did and they said, um, they were causing misalignment between you and other family members or friends. They were getting in the middle of things. This person is like a real instigator. Oh, look. So now we have the Hierophant in the reverse. A very rebellious kind of a person. Okay? They go the opposite direction. They're not someone who you felt you could be cohesive with. They have problems with authority. No one can tell them what to do. They are the authority. That was the energy of that, that toxic type of person. They thought they were the OG of everyone and everything. Okay. And I'm going to get one more. Okay. So I'm putting these away because they keep all popping out in reverse here. That high priestess in the reverse. And the High Priestess and the Hierophant are a pair. They go together. Okay. And this person was trying to block your intuition. They were trying to cloud you, gaslight you. They were trying to prevent you from seeing or having insight about them. They were trying to keep you from trusting your gut and your intuition. If you felt that way, if you were with this person and you felt like you would say something and then they, like you'd say the sky is blue and they'd say, no, it's red, even though you're looking at the sky, even though you knew they just, that it was blue, this person had a way of 
influencing you influencing your mind and i always say that the devil doesn't come in um he doesn't he can't capture your soul the devil cannot come in and capture your soul he can't steal your soul but he can hijack your brain and your mind and your thoughts and that's what this person this narcissist type of person tried to do and they're still at it so you got to make sure that you stay away from that person okay it had some kind of demonic influence over your mind and some of you just woke right up to that and you were like wait no something's not right because virgo you have the gift of intuition believe it or not um this is your card okay now you can look it up you can look it up um you do have the hermit which is the card of spiritual enlightenment and that's the act of attaining that okay um but there is no other card in the major arcana that is the virgo card except for the high priestess because there's usually two okay um this is you this is your card male or female you have you possess as a virgo mystery secrets the ability to trust yourself and your intuition you are very tuned in virgo about the ways of the world okay and the ways of people this can be a card of like psychology right so i feel like whoever that person was from the past I don't really feel like they were successful and that's why they keep coming back to try to hijack things with you hijack your mind hijack your happiness your your peace make you think that you can't trust yourself very demonic forces some of y'all need to sage right now start saging <laughs> hang them crosses up get that garlic and get that steak <laughs> get prepared all right get prepared but you do have something beautiful coming in here with somebody let's take a look what else is your advice here virgo oh virgo the drama the drama okay yeah see you've got the two of pentacles again okay this is like weighing things out here for you about a partnership weighing a decision for some of you there is an element of like because of what something happened to you in the past with another person you may not be fully ready to go full-fledged willy-nilly with someone and that's fine some of you just need to take your time and weigh things out take your time in responding making sure that any step you take every little step you take Doon, 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 doon. got a little bobby brown going on in my head here um making sure that whatever step you take is weighed and thought through but don't stay in analytical mode too too long um some of you may need to just ask some questions of this person reaching out to you to find out where their head's at get into their headspace to find out what they're thinking what they're doing um where they're at what they want now or are they, why they're ready now like gotta have a conversation okay there you are ah, the high priestess okay meditate turn inward discover your soul's true desire this is not the time for action okay take your time responding don't worry about oh if i don't respond right away this person's gonna think that i'm not interested and i am interested but i don't know what to say you could if you, if you get in that position you could just respond hey at work right now um i'll call you tomorrow or something like that and just you need to step back and breathe virgo okay because some of you if this is someone you were connecting with before some of you were like well i guess that's it i guess that's done i guess i'm not going back here okay and some of you were kind of sad but it does feel like there's a surprise your jaw it's supposed to be jaw dropping okay trust the wisdom that you receive from higher power and source about something here let's see what else 
Okay, you got the King of Pentacles, so this could be um, your your match. This person might have Earth somewhere in their chart, but you guys are coming in together in that energy. Okay, um, this person comes in; they're a bit charismatic, but they're quite grounded, so you can tell that they're for real, even though they might be charming, male or female. Um, this person's got financial security and prosperity. Um, for some of you, this could be a boss. It might be somebody that you work for, okay, or work with, okay? They might have a child. They might be a parent. I should say that. What else here? Okay, we've got the five of fire. Walk away from the drama and stand up for yourself. That's that narcissist. This is your advice. Detach from the drama. Cut those cords from that person as best as you can. Go silent. Go gray rock. Block them out. That that negative toxic MFR that's coming in. Because they're coming in. They're not letting go. Okay. Queen of Fire back again. Believe in yourself, Virgo. The Queen of Wands, the Queen of Fire, she's bold, male or female, coming in in this energy. She's feisty and confident, and you need to get your confidence on. You need to get your confidence hat on. Oh, let's do the charms, you guys. I'm going to flip these over so that maybe you can see the charms better. A lot of cards on this table. Hold on. I'll try and put them here. <laughs> okay, this is the Moonology deck, if anyone's interested. You can get it on Amazon. All right, gave us a whole bunch. Oh boy, we're going to be here for a bit. Um, hmm. Wow. Okay. I said it before and I'm going to say it again. This new person, this or this this recommitment to this love, this non-narcissist, you are their unicorn. Okay? Purple and white. Purple and white. You are their unicorn. You are it for them. You might have told them that or maybe they've told you that you're like a unicorn. Where did you come from? I can't believe that I met you. I can't even believe that I probably possibly let you go and have lost you. Okay. That's a very strong message, but this is like the arrows of love here. This person is, is definitely coming in. Like they're going to start like Cupid's arrow. It's Cupid. Cupid's doing all this. Okay. Spirit sent Cupid. Ascending Cupid. You're getting shot in the, hold on. you're to blame baby you give love a bad name <laughs> all right i don't know they just gave me that <laughs> somebody maybe shoot does somebody shoot bows and arrows or shoots arrows or something somewhere okay maybe your person or it could be you And then there's like an old fashioned, this looks like a pair of scissors. And all right, they just gave me somebody's name. It starts with an M. Mary, Michael, Miranda, Melanie, Mark. Marty. Marsha, 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 Marsha. Uh, and then I heard Mel. I heard Melanie and I heard Mel. Hmm. Oh. Mor Morty, 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 Morena. Okay, so strange. I don't know what that means, but there's a pair of scissors here. So 
I feel like this is more about cutting the cord, snipping away, cutting out the past being done endings and new beginnings but it's also somebody might be um, using a pair of scissors right at this time while you're listening to this reading if so this is for you and then we also have a jet airliner okay so you might be in a long distance relationship with someone um, there might be flights booked or a flight getting booked um, passenger this is a passenger plane Okay, this is not, somebody might be a pilot or maybe they're, yeah, they fly planes. You might be picking someone up at the airport. You might be taking a plane and arriving at an airport. You could be there right now. Maybe, I don't know, are you able to, can you listen to like this video on a plane? You might be on a plane right now or well, watching a plane flying overhead for some of you. And we also have an octopus. Okay, they just gave me the number, a number, uh, 700, 700, spirits, wow, you guys, I'm not going to lie, right when I said that, I just looked at my time here, it's 7 o'clock as I'm recording this, that's weird, 700. But I'm just getting like the number 700 or 70 or 07 or just the number 7. 7, it feels like that's 7 is spirituality, inner awareness, mastery, wisdom, insight, and success. Okay, the number 7. I don't know if somebody has a life path. 7, all this from an octopus. I have to tell you, wait a minute, Spirit just said. Okay, there's 6 arms on this octopus okay somebody might have been born in 67 or 76 or june 7th or july 6th but there's um hmm. are you looking at like oh i just saw this beautiful screensaver with like sea creatures like an octopus on a screensaver how bizarre how bizarre there's something connecting here with an octopus oh <laughs> i just said okay that's strange i never got that looking at this but some of you have some seriously what somebody has seriously wildly curly hair somebody's got very curly hair or is getting their hair done or putting has rollers or curls or just curly hair in general very beautiful maybe long locks or wavy curly hair very beautiful and then i'm just hearing um oh okay um I'm hearing um, they're giving me the number eight now. Eight. The number eight. Somebody's birthday, eight August, or somebody's birthday is on the eighth. Oh. And 28. The, num the number 28. Oh, October 28th. Something significant. Wait, I gotta check. Something significant is happening on October 28th. What is that? Oh, okay. There's a Pisces. October 28th, there's a Pisces. Um, hold on a minute. What are they saying? Okay, all right, I don't know how this might relate to this reading. There's a Pisces who's not, October 28th, there's going, I'm seeing a Pisces who's extremely defensive, will be extremely defensive towards you about something. I'm not taking those. 
And if they pop out, they, again, they pop out. October 28th, there's a Pisces who's being extremely defensive towards you, but also very persistent about something. It could be about like a belief system or uh, they don't see it your way or they're being very selfish about something. Um, I don't feel like that's this person. This might be a family member or a friend. It could be that toxic person. Something, let's see. Okay, yeah, it's to do with you. It's towards you, King of Pentacles. Ooh. Ace of Wands. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, there's, it may not be a Pisces, but I'm picking up Pisces energy. Um, but there's somebody here who's going to be very persistent about having physical intimacy with you. Um, I don't feel like it's anything like, oh, you're going to have to like fight them off or call the cops or anything. Um, but it's really, it's, it's like very annoying. It feels like very annoying. Like th this person, like they're not going to leave you alone. Yeah. Okay. Ten of cups reversed. Oh, they could be trying to infiltrate a relationship or a start of something new that you're having here. Um, to keep, it could be that toxic person. Um, maybe on the tenant on the um, yeah on the twenty eighth. I'm feeling they might be coming in to mm, break things up. Oh, did you just hear that? Did you hear somebody say hello? I just heard a voice that said, hello? It was a female's voice. Hello? Oh, they're coming in to call. Yep, there's a text or some communication coming in from someone who's trying to break up your connection, your relationship or something. Um, Going to cause a lot of strife and anxiety. So October 28th seems to be the key or just somewhere around there that I feel like you could just kind of have to be awakened to or be aware of. Okay, they're going to tell you that, you know, oh, you know, I want to talk to you, I want to see you, but they're going to come in with this physical stuff. They're going to try to plant some seeds or cause some problems. Just, I don't know why they're giving me that message. Maybe because I'm, I'm, I'm staying open to receiving still and it's been an hour and almost 15 minutes. So I'm going to leave your message there because that went on for a while. I know some of you in the chat here are like, oh, I hear you yawning. Who the heck is yawning? Who, which one of you is listening to this reading and you're yawning? <laughs> don't be yawning out of boredom. Um, so you guys, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's all she wrote. So hopefully that got you some insight. I'll tell you what, that was a strange reading. The way these readings come out, you never know what you're going to get from me, you guys. You never know. That's why it's always drama, something exciting. But I want, I want to tell you, I'm sorry, I was just, because they, they keep talking to me and I'm trying to shut them out. I want to tell you, personal reading link, again, in the description box below the video. Please do give this video a like. Please do subscribe to my channel. We want to get up to at least the 20K um, by sometime in November, hopefully. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. And stay tuned for the memberships going to be going live um, at the end of the month. So pop in. I'll let you know when that's going to happen. And yeah, that's it for your reading. I love you guys. Thanks for being in the chat. Thank you to all the moderators for helping out and listening to the video. I will see you guys tomorrow. Later.